Okay, one thing I wanted to um, tell you about when you're designing things is you may want to name the objects that you put down onto your form. Uh, in previous videos, I've named all the objects and all the um, information on my form. Okay, so for instance, if this was a start button, I'd call it, I go to the name of the button, which is here, and change the name to button one. All right, you don't always have to, but it's a good idea to do it. I'm not going to do it in this particular video series because I've shown you, shown how to do it in previous video series. If you don't want to go, but you might want to go into the events and go to where are we here and put in a comment after it, like um, like so. Type in um, what's it called again? Start button. All right, this gives this gives you information on what it is. So I'm going to copy this. Copy. And I already know what this one is. And then paste it in. This is the stop. Like so. All right. So it tells me, I, I can, you know, make sure it runs. It's running fine. So I, I know what it is, button two is, and button one is. Okay, by just putting in something into brackets to tell me what it is. Now, there's, that's one way to do it. Right? The other way I usually do it is I name it something. I actually name the button something, like for instance the edit spins, right? You can see here it's called edit spins. Now I, you know, I usually start it with edit because I, then that tells me what it is I'm working with which is an edit field. Alright, so there's that. Now to start with the form activate or form create Right, and the form close. All right, so we're going to actually write in some procedures and I'm going to go through that as we build up this particular script. Right, the first bit of code I added in was these two lines. All right, self dot top, okay, and self dot left. Okay, they're just to, well, let me show you what to do, <laughs> just to show you what to do. All right, so here we are with the, with the um, screen open, All right? If I close it and run it, it automatically opens up where it left it off, okay, on activate. That's the activate, okay? The next thing I did was add in some variables. I've got here variable x key form, and then I put in a comment underneath here. These are variables for files, file variables, all right? So now we're building up the script. Make sure you save it as you go along. I'll be showing you how to use these file variables. Okay, the next thing I want to add in is a function. And this function is called file exist. All right, we'll be using this throughout the script um, to see if a file that we want to write to actually exists on our computer. All right. So it's a fairly straightforward function. It's not a procedure, right? It's a function. So here's, a, here's a function. Here's a procedure, right? You can see it's got the name of the function, which is file exists, right? Then you have something in between the brackets, which is f name, and then you got this boolean. Now, I'm still not sure what, what exactly that means, but it's nothing to really worry about. And you can see this variable f in here, 
which is also the same variable up here for a file, right? And it just goes through and checks if this if the actual file exists. So if it exists, it says it's true. If it doesn't exist, it says it's false. All right. It's a fairly simple um, function. Now, whenever I'm doing this, I either go to File and Save All, or I just click on this little button up here, right, and that saves it. All right, saves it. Done. Remember to save your work often. <laughs> now, one thing you may find with Ruid at Player is when you're using File and Save All, right save all it may freeze up from time to time and the actual root up player may freeze up which is you know uh, it happens it's software i think i think kevin is working on fixing it anyway so there's the function file exist all right the next thing i want to or next function or procedures I want to add in to the script is when I click on run see when I move the window around and I close it on close okay this is especially to do with the on close button All right when I close it I want it to remember where I closed this particular window so no matter where I put it on the screen it will open up in that last position. And to do that, I have to write a file to my computer. So let's go through and do that. Okay, so I've added in a few more procedures into the script. Fairly simple procedures. Let me show you what they are. We've got file exists, as I mentioned before. Right, first function. We've got added in save window position file, right? And what this does is saves a small file to your computer on your C drive called window position, window pos file, right? It writes in the X and Y coordinates of the screen, okay? Um, and then I've got this procedure here called load window position right and all, all it does it reads the file we just saved right uh, opens it and reads the two lines that are in the file right the uh, reads line one uh, line zero and line one which is the um the position of the top and the left of the window right and then i close the file Always make sure you close the file. Okay. Then on form create, right, I've got load window position. Right, so it loads in this particular procedure. Okay. And on activate, I've got form. Um, Make sure it closes on this particular area. And then form show. I've got nothing in there yet. On form close, I've got x equals sender, the actual, uh, which is the window. Then the coordinates, if, you know, if the window is at less than zero. So I'll show you exactly what that means in a minute. Say window position. Then it saves the window position, right? So let me run it. As you can see, it's up and running. If I move this up here, Right, up here so you can't see it right if I close it and then run it you can see that it opens up there right that by default so there you go that's a very simple way to save the position of your form and I'll include this um, in the, these procedures and the variables in the tutorials okay Okay, the last thing I want to add in is another variable called file name. 
All right, so I've added that in. I've also added in, where are we here? Check if I have the window position file, All right? So here I use the file name. Here is the file that it's looking for. And then I use the file exist. In, now if you recall, I did the function file exist. So it looks for it in here. If it turns up false, then it's going to click on, it's going to use the save window position. If it turns up true, it's going to load the window position. Right? So it makes sure uh, to, to check to see if I have actually got this particular file. Now, if you don't have something like this in your script um, and you click on close, it may not, uh, it might come up with an error saying you haven't got the particular file saved and then, um, then save it. And then when you open up it again, it'll work properly. But I usually put this in here as well. So just double checks to see if the actual file exists on my computer. So make sure I save it. Done. And then run it. And there it is. Up and running. Okay.